you know, the, the big thing that comes to my mind with anything like this is always the why. Backing up a little bit, so Indiana bats are federally listed under the Endangered Species Act as endangered. Kentucky's population has been relatively steady over the last uh, decade or so. We did go down a little bit with the uh, introduction of white dose syndrome, which is a fungus that impacts bat species while they're hibernating in a cave. And what we're looking for is this is a species that in the summertime for its maternity colonies utilizes dead or dying trees or trees that have some sort of exfoliated bark, um, like a shag bark hickory is sort of the classic example. And the bats will raise their young, sometimes in colonies of 100 to 200 bats in one tree underneath the piece of bark like that. We put up nets so far at two different sites. Uh, we'll probably go back and re-net some of those sites. What you want to do is kind of spread it out over time because uh, bats are pretty smart. They'll figure out pretty quick that the net is there and is a barrier to their passing and they'll figure out how to fly around it. So you want to kind of give it a few days or weeks between times that you've had a site if you can. Well, once we catch any bass, uh, obviously the first step is to, to get it out of the net safely, both for the, the bat and for the, the surveyor that's getting it out. You know, you don't want to injure the bat. You certainly don't want to be injured uh, as the person doing the removal. From there, you're going to look at a whole host of characteristics to determine what species it is. It doesn't have that. Oh, uh, I can see the hairs on now. Mm-hmm. And so then, that's a little brown bat. Little brown. Indianas are grayer and a little like poofier, I think. And their belly is a more uniform color. You can see how much lighter this guy's belly is compared to his back. So it's a little brown bat. You know, the, the big thing that comes to my mind with anything like this is always the why. You know, you, you'll have the general public is asking, okay, why are we doing this work? Why are these things important? For us, the answer to the why is we have about 15 species of bat in Kentucky. I think four or five of them now are either currently on the endangered species list federally or will be soon. So the work that we do is trying to manage that population ultimately with the hope of getting it delisted, which is good for everybody. It's good for the bat. It's good for development interests. It's good for uh, nature itself. The other reason for why is bats have a tremendous service that they provide not only to the ecosystem, but to the human environment. You know, we often talk about bats as uh, the little animals that are out flying around eating up all the mosquitoes before they start biting us. And that's certainly the case, but they also have a tremendous impact on our agricultural resources. They forage on a lot of insects that are damaging to particularly corn crops. So the more robust bat population you have, the better off we're gonna be as humans and the better off uh, nature and our ecosystem will be as well.